Hey guys, this is Jen, and today I wanted to show you another basics 101 video. Everybody needs to check out eyeliner sometime in their lives, right? I've gotten a lot of requests for how I do my winged liner, so I thought I would show you guys a tutorial. This is just what I do on kind of a daily basis. I basically do two different steps. I have a liquid liner for my upper line, and then I also use a uh, pencil liner on my lower lash line. I did also used to use gel liner, so I will get into that in just a minute. Let me give you a little rundown of the basic formula for different types of eyeliner. You're gonna start off with the pencil. Pencil, I feel like, is everybody's newbie first step into eyeliner. However, what most people don't realize is that pencil can be very smudgy, so it's not really user-friendly if you have a lot of oily problems, if you rub your eyes. It's just gonna get all over by the end of the day, even if it's waterproof. This usually works if you're using it on a lash line, if you're using it as a base for eyeshadow, or if you enjoy tight lining. However, my eyes are too sensitive for that. They kind of get watery and uncomfortable, so I actually skip applying this on my water Line, but most people I would say have tried that at some point or another another one is gel liner This is super long-lasting. It's a gel formula You apply it with a brush and it can actually look like a liquid liner or like a pencil if you smudge it out Which is really nice. It's very versatile very waterproof and monolid friendly However, because you do need a brush to use it and it is waterproof It does kind of become a pain in the butt to like clean it every single time so another thing is liquid liner. Liquid liner comes in a few different forms. Some of them have like a tube where it's a thing of liquid and then it has a brush and you put it on. Those you have to kind of wait a while for it to set. So I usually tend to just grab something a little bit quicker and easier, which is like this one. My current favorite is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. This is actually a brush tip, which is really nice because it doesn't get stringy at the end. And I feel like it lasts a little bit longer than some of my felt tip ones, but I do have a couple favorites. I really love the Sila Stay All Day Liner and I love the Ico Skinny Liner. I kind of use all of them interchangeably, but when I want a really precise line, this is the one that I grab for and repurchase. So that's a little rundown of all of the different kinds of eyeliners. If you're trying to look for a specific kind, I will list a list of all of my favorites from every single category down in the info box below from different price points so that it's not just about like using exactly what I talk about. You can of course experiment, use the same techniques with whatever eyeliner you're using. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to see how this look is done, then stay tuned. So before I start, I used an eyeshadow primer all over my eyelids. Even if I have no eyeshadow on and I'm just using eyeliner, I still like using this first because it helps everything to just stay in place and not smudge around and go crazy. Now I'm grabbing my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. So I'm gonna start at my inner corners. I use a little technique where I rest my pinky against my face. That way I have a lot of control. It's kind of like a little kickstand. So I'm just angling this down toward my inner corners right here and I'm dragging it across my eye. The shape I like using is making closer to my lash line at the inner corners and then gradually getting higher as it goes out toward the outer corners. And then I go to my outer corner here and I'm going in the same direction as my lower lash line. See how that's making a line right here? We're gonna continue that upward. So pretend like there's a line here connecting with the corner of your eyebrow right here. So that is the angle that the wing should go up. So I'm putting it down at the outer corner and I'm just pulling up a little wing. Now this can be as little or as big as you like. Just experiment and see what you're comfortable with. So now I'm taking my hand like this. I'm flipping it over this way. Again, I'm resting my pinky against my face. I'm putting it down so that the corners meet and I'm just going to connect that with the main area. And you don't have to worry about this being perfectly at which point it meets because really if it connects here or here or here, it's still going to look nice as long as the two sides are symmetrical. So now I'm just filling in any of the white areas and for this I kind of like laying the pen on its side and making little strokes to fill it in. What's important is to have a really smooth top line. And then again, carefully this time, we can fill it in. 
Make sure when you're filling it in that you get really close to the lash line. You don't want any of those weird gaps. See this outer corner? Sometimes it gets a little bit blurry. If that happens, just take the tip of your liner and just pull a really, really tiny little sharp line. You just have to touch very lightly and control the movement by using your little finger kickstand trick. Now maybe a big tricky part is moving across to the other eye and making the exact same shape, but we're gonna try our best. So again, use your finger as a kickstand, touch at the inner corner here. You're gonna pull an arch across your eye like that. Go to the outer corner, you're gonna pull a line upward in the same angle as your lower lash line. Then go meet at the corner and pull in. Now at this point, I'm looking at both of my eyes and I can see that this wing is a little bit longer here than this one. So before I get too far ahead of myself, I'm going to just do a little line over here as close as possible to match that side. This is just my personal style, but I like having the corner of that line actually go to my lash line. So it doesn't stop where my actual eye is here. It goes further than the width of where my waterline is. That's going to help make my eyes look wider versus if I just ended the wing here and had it go up, your eye is going to look a little bit smaller. Plus I just feel like it makes a more natural shape for it to go all the way to that lower lash line and then go up from there. Next I'm going to move on to pencil eyeliner. This isn't a necessary step, but I really like doing it because I feel like it really opens up my eyes. In this case, I like using a dark brown just because it makes it a little bit softer and easier to wear for every day. And I'm gonna just put this at the outer corner and just make little dashes and then I'm only going about halfway. And it's gonna kind of fade inward. I can even make this smudged out a little bit wider just at the outer thirds. That's about the shape that I like. So already you can see from this eye, this eye looks so much bigger and all I did was just add a little bit of pencil eyeliner right there. Just as a heads up, if you've always used only pencil on your top lids and you have smudging problems, it's probably because you're using a pencil. However, I do still like using it on my lower lash lines. I just need to make sure I use a primer underneath and I set it with some powder. So I'm going to use some eyeshadow. I like using a super flat brush like this one because it just kind of fits in there and I can just smudge that in real good. Today, I'm going to be using Whiskey. It's just a dark brown color. So I'm angling this toward my lash line and I'm just going to kind of smush that into the lash line and then work its way toward the middle. See how that just softens it and blends everything nice and buttery. I've been like blending that up into the top line. And what that does is it just kind of makes that whole line from the upper wing look cohesive to the lower lash line. So setting the pencil eyeliner isn't going to make it completely 100% foolproof. I do still get like little teary at my outer corners, but using the eyeshadow on top of the pencil is going to make it last so much longer and just really soften it up and makes it look really perfected. So this is the finished liner look. I'm just going to top this off with a bit of mascara. I'm gonna skip the lashes so you guys can still really authentically see the eyeliner on its own. So this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and if you guys have any eyeliner related questions Feel free to leave that down in the comments I'll try to answer as many as I can and I'm sure a lot of you guys have really helpful information as well Also, let me know if you have a particular favorite eyeliner because I'm always 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 on the lookout for something That is really crisp very black very waterproof and doesn't flake off when I'm wearing false lashes So I guess that's about it. Thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this or found it helpful at all then you know guys I would love it if you would hit thumbs up feel free to subscribe if you like watching my videos and want to see more this is Jen and I'll talk to you guys in the next one bye we're a little bit closer than normal because I wanted to do an updated foundation routine for you because I am talking all about concealers as you can see I'm not wearing anything